Hey. Hi. Hi, Mona, and if you're here, <clears throat> you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <laughs> I know, I'm experimenting with all kinds of camera angles. I'm just trying to see which one's best and, you know, the less shaking of the trailer, you know. But, um, yeah, time to do a reading, right? <laughs> just like that. Uh, I do have the, the Kipper deck. This is going to be like, a, you know, I don't know, nature read. It's because it's very nice outside today. Um, yeah, starting out with the Kipper deck. Let's find out what's going on here. I got four decks today. I figured I'd have the Kipper and then an Oracle at the end. So let's get three cards just to start out, see what's going on. This one's first. This one's second. Wow. And this one's third. Oh, I just bumped the camera. Let me make sure everything's okay. Looking okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's like right next to me, you know? It's so funny because the other day when I used the Kipper deck, we got this thief card and in the same position. You see in the same. Well, here, let me put it closer so we can all take a look at this real quick together. All right. <clears throat> so we have somebody here who is going to court because they stole something and somebody might be receive a message about this. All right. Something, somebody did something illegal that is causing them to have to go to court. Uh, the court's going to find that somebody stole something and then somebody will receive a message of this occurrence, right? Either way you go, somebody will receive a message that someone stole something and they will be tried in court. Somebody's being tried in court because they stole something and you will receive a message. So either way you go, it's the same thing, okay? So we're gonna put this to the side. So now we get a little gist of the story here. Somebody did something they shouldn't have and is going to suffer the consequences for doing so. You know, and I mean, that's that's just life, how it goes. You do something wrong and you're gonna pay the consequences. That's how karma works, right? Or someone got caught slipping and they got caught. You know, that's why I always say, just don't do anything wrong. Don't do anything against people. Don't hurt anybody. Don't trip out on people. Just mind your own business. And just try to live the happiest life you can for yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. Because when you do, you manifest bad things into your life. You really, really do. So the best thing to do is just worry about yourself. And about finding happiness within yourself. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know why that came out like that. But there you have it. Okay, somebody needed to hear that. All right. So this is a Tarot of Dreams. I'm just going to get a general energy card. All right. Seven of Wands. There's some defensiveness. I feel like somebody here is going to be fighting for themselves, right? We have uh, the symbol of Leo up here. So somebody here could be a Leo. But it appears that somebody's going to have to be defending themselves or somebody will be, de be being defended or not, right? Or there won't be any defense here, right? Depends on whoever here is involved in this story, right? If you are directly related and you know exactly what this is, because, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, because I'm a Leo, and I'll tell you right now, like, this doesn't resonate with me. But if it does resonate with someone out there, maybe you're going to have to defend yourself in court because somebody may have stolen something from you. Or you stole something from someone. It's, it's like that. Now, also, it could be that there is some defense going on behind your back that you don't even know about, especially if you receive a message about this, these goings-ons, because maybe you don't even know. Maybe you're going to find out that somebody has been defending you, or you may have to defend yourself, 
because of whatever happened here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, th I don't want to scare anybody. This doesn't mean like, you know, necessarily mean that, oh, it's a court thing. It could be though. Okay. It could be. But if it's not a court thing, this could be judgment among your you and your peers. Okay. You're being judged by your peers because of something you may have done or may have stolen. Okay. You could have stolen. Oh man, I'm getting stuff now. You could have stolen anything too. It could have been money. It could have even been time. That's a big one in my mind that somebody may have stolen someone's time. Whatever that means. But in the end, you will receive a message about this. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's just keep going. I want to get five cards out. I can get five cards. Ooh. Tower. So somebody's going to go through some sort of shocking moment. And that could be in regards to this letter right here. Somebody could receive a, a message and it's shocking. Okay. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. That part, I don't know. But when we have that thief right there, that's never really a good thing. That's, that's you know, you know. Let me get a final card, please, for this story. Mm, okay, well, at the bottom of the deck, look at that. The readings, you know what? I did a reading yesterday and it was bad too. This looks like it's headed in the same direction. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Now somebody here is receiving this or will receive the Ten of Swords. It's backstabbing energy. 50% will, but 50% will be healing from it. You know, I mean, you got to go through both the upright and reverse when it comes to this card. You start out with this backstabbing energy. Maybe you find out somebody stole from you. Mm -hmm. And that's backstabbing energy. And then eventually you will have to go through the process of the backs falling out of your back. Okay. So I think I can set this right here. And that should be a safe spot for it for right now. Um, oh, you know what? No. Uh, right here. Oh, look, I didn't, uh, it didn't, I didn't really light my incense. Let's go ahead and light it right now. I already, uh, cleansed the cards in the area, you know. I cleansed them because I tried to get away any kind of residue energy from previous readings, you know? Because even though these are stories, and I believe that somebody created, someone was just a genius at creating these, I still believe in the energy transfer, so. And I believe that these stories are coming out like this because someone is coming here who, you did something. Okay. Some stuff's going to resonate and some stuff isn't. Look at that. So we have the tower. You see that? Now, right here with the tower, something's going to happen, you know, it's and it's not going to be avoided because it came out in the upright. <clears throat> Whatever's going on here, something is just going to shock somebody. It's, it's going to shock your very foundation. And somebody is possibly going to start praying, you know, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's so weird, you know, I'll tell you what, I used to be like a person of science, you know, I never really, my parents never really, you know, pushed religion or anything like that on us. Um, I went to church, but it was in a different language. I didn't even understand it. So <laughs> that was futile, right? I didn't start 
believing in God until I saw miracles happen that I couldn't explain scientifically. That was the reason why, that is the reason why I believe in God, because I've seen actual miracles. Um, and there is no other way I can explain these things. So I'm like, you know, I'm, yeah, you got me, you got me hooked, you know, like, <laughs> you really do. You, you got me convinced. So that's what changed me. All right. Somebody here might actually go through some sort of transformation like that, that brings you to start having some sort of faith, right? This is also the Hierophant card, right? This is about, you know, higher levels of commitment, bringing yourself to... So somebody might go through some something. They, they might go through something very shocking. It could actually be somebody... Okay, I have a couple different things that just popped into my head. Somebody may have stolen something, but in the end, because of their they start praying and doing all this and that they actually uh come out scot free right because of some sort of miracle right but for some it's the praying is not going to be enough right because maybe you did too much. Somebody here did too much or they did the unthinkable. They did something horrible. And it's not forgivable. Not by the court systems or whoever anyways. Right? Because God forgives everybody. As long as you do the right thing. Right? As long as you, make, you keep your promise to be a good person. And be kind to others. And kind to yourself you know, the basics, you're, you're safe, right? So with this moon card right here, somebody's under such some kind of illusion thinking that, and I'm talking about the person who did real bad here, I'm thinking, kind of, I'm thinking that the person who did real bad, who, who may not actually be forgiven, for what they've done, they're under some sort of illusion, thinking that they can win this or or something, whatever this is. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be court. It could be amongst friends or family or some some circle or something. But and I say a circle because I see a circle right here. So this might be amongst a circle of friends. Somebody is hoping that they're not going to be judged because they stole something. I think they will be, though, because you're feeling in the tower moment, you know, and if you did steal something, yeah, of course, especially if you got caught. So somebody here is very defensive. Okay. We have also this, the, the sign of Taurus, Pisces, and next we have Scorpio. And somebody is, you know, this is an obstacle for somebody. Yeah, this is the Six of Cups. Now, it's either the obstacle or advice, but I think it's the obstacle because somebody's not really doing well in the first place. And I think this should be the last thing on their mind, you know, unless, unless it involves a stealing another person's partner now, okay? And this adjudication, these two people standing in court, that could be divorce right there. Like somebody may be divorcing because somebody stole somebody's spouse or, you know, now it takes a turn, doesn't it? Something here is taking a turn. And in the end, Ace of Wands, that's an Aries card. It's not showing there, but... Ace of Wands in the reverse means, you know, that somebody definitely has lost all passion for this situation. So that's another, you know. And somebody could have been already, like, being with the other person before they even got divorced. and all. So there could be, you know, infidelity here. 
something like this. Somebody could have even stolen finances from this spouse or from some other, you know what I'm saying? Something like this. So let's go ahead and clarify since we got some of the story down here because it kind of, you know, wow, you know, tell us about this tower. Tell us about the tower. Tell us about the tower. Tell us about the tower. about the tower at the bottom of the deck the card of Aries the fool taking a leap of faith okay so somebody either will or won't let's find out what else is going on here let's see so who is receiving a tower moment might be this queen of wands see we have Leo there, and we have a Queen of Wands here, Aries Leo Sagittarius, right? Somebody could be receiving some message about her, or she's going to receive this message of the tower. Right? Either she's going to get the tower, or she's going to hear, or she's going to receive this message that somebody got the tower. Could be like that. Uh, this per this Queen of Wands though is is making swift movement to create stability, right? And she's also okay. This is about swift movement to create stability but then we have this this which is waiting for your ships to come in so this person is i feel like they're they're doing something but they're not they're not rushing into anything right they're and and we have taken a okay okay this is about this looks like it's about contracts or something like that <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. You see, Chica got all riled up. This might be about contracts. Somebody might be wanting to create stability somewhere, maybe buying a house, renting an apartment, renting a house or something like that. But they're waiting. 50% of the people here will take a leap of faith and do it. And 50% will not. I think that no one here should be hasty because if we have a thief in the midst, that could be in regards to whatever you're trying to, to have a contract with. So if you are getting into a contract with someone, whether it's business or whatever, even if it's with family, okay, and signing paperwork or doing anything like that, make sure you read the fine print because I feel like somebody, and, and even if it's not family, if it's just some sort of broker outside or whatever, I feel like, you know, and you're going to run into this. This is not like a magical thing. This is like, there are thieves out there. All right. So make sure that you do your homework on whatever this is that you want to get involved with. Don't just jump into anything. You know, I understand life is short. And I understand that for a lot of us, our biological clocks are ticking. And that even tomorrow, our life could go. But you don't need to rush. Things will come when it's gonna, supposed to come for you. You know? If you go about, you do something and it doesn't work out. It just wasn't your time. It's really not a big deal. You pick yourself up, you keep moving forward. That's how you got to do, really. Because one day, something will happen and you will be like, wow, I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I didn't make this mistake, you know, because maybe you find something. So somebody might be shocked to find out that there might somebody might be trying to steal from them in some sort of uh thing that they are wanting to do okay and so 50 percent though will, will be hasty and jump into it because they'll feel like oh my god it's what a great deal 
And then 50% will be like, wait a minute, why is it such a good deal like that? Or why is this coming so easily? Or why, why, you know, ask the questions. So that could be something too. And that's what this message could be. This message could be, we're sorry to inform you, but right? Yeah. And that sucks. So let's keep moving. So maybe somebody finds out somebody has stolen from them and somebody is praying or hoping, oh, please don't let this be the truth. And that could be with anything, like I said, you know, tell us about this faith card, the Hierophant, higher level of commitment, somebody making. And, and you know what, when you're usually getting into a contract or whatever like that, that is a higher level of commitment. Is it not? It is. Okay. Look, they're keeping it a secret from us. I need one more card. At least you're not going to be feeling left out in the cold. <laughs> That's the only card we see. There we go again. The Eight of Wands, swift movement to create stability. So, you know, let's see if your prayers worked. <laughs> okay. We have the two of wands in reverse, which means no conversation. There's no communication happening with somebody and they're not working with others, but you're not feeling left out in the, okay. Someone here has decided to actually, uh, look into this on their own to not deal or talk about this situation to others. Because somebody may have also figured out that all these involvement of other people like this card, look. Everybody want to get in their business. And this person's like, dang, get away. Let me do this. Let me, you know, I'm trying to work here. Or I'm trying to think or whatever. Everybody might be trying to come in to like, what you got going on? What, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like right now you're not talking to anyone or in the future or something, whatever, you know, whoever, whatever. It's a story, right? It's a story. You're not going to work with others. And that's going to allow you to not feel left out in the cold because you're doing it on your own, creating, you're going, you're making swift movements to create stability on your own. And this is why things are going to move smoothly for you after the transition of whatever you find out. Because you know what, when you, you normally, when you go through stuff and then you tell a family member or a friend and it's like, Tch. You know, somebody always turn around, oh, did you hear about so-and-so? They Everybody always got some shit to say. So just don't even, don't even bother. Right? Don't even bother. Because I kind of feel like you got that kind of people around anyways, that they ain't got nothing better in life to do than to talk about you. Because they don't have nothing better in life. You know what I'm saying? They can't find nothing better to do. And, you know, that's on them. That's not your problem, you know? Because in the end here, you're not feeling left out in the cold. Somebody could even, when I look back at that tower and what we just went over here, Somebody could even be, uh, could find out that somebody tried to steal from them or somebody did steal from them and they are still making their movements forward, you know, and they're not feeling left out in the cold because they're not really even involved in this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like someone here is not really even involved in whatever's going on. They are indirectly, I think, or something. But they're involved, but they're not there or they're not, I don't know, it's weird. They're out here doing something else while something is going on behind the scenes. Well, not behind their scenes, but some, in some other place, you know? That's, that's kind of, this is a weird, this is weird. So let's move on to this moon card because we have the moon here now. And this is about secrets and illusions. So, you know, maybe there were some secrets. Maybe while somebody was out here trying to get their stuff together and do everything right and try to be cool and stuff, there were some secrets and things going on behind their back. And that's why this message here is at the end, because it's like, you're going to find out. 
Tell us about tell us about this moon card, please. Tell us about these secrets or illusions. One, two, three. So we have the nine of pentacles, okay? In the end, somebody here is single and abundant. And that's who this is, that queen of wands or this Leo who maybe have to be defensive or something. I don't know. Um, but this person is single and abundant. Uh, this person could be celebrated or something like that, or could be, uh, could have been involved with some sort in some sort of soulmate situation. It's positive though, because it's in the upright. So it's not a negative thing, but they were dealing with the queen of cups and she's in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, male or female energy. Somebody here was dealing with somebody who was Queen of Cups energy, which is a person, and like I said, it could be male or female, but Queen of Cups in reverse energy is somebody who either either they sleep around, they're, they're heartless, they're not loving at all. Um, if they're in a relationship with someone, they're holding back their love. They don't have sex with the partner. Um, just all the evil things that you could think of <laughs> somebody doing, that's what the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody who emotionally manipulates a person, that too. So that's a Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Male or female can be like that, okay? So somebody could have been involved with a soulmate who has that energy. And this person is single and abundant, dealing with a soulmate who is just like very bad. And there could have been some, some illusion that, you know, oh, maybe that's what the secret and illusion is, is that this single person thought that somebody was their soulmate who was a queen of cups reverse, somebody with those bad energies. Oh, okay. So yeah, there was some illusions right here. Somebody went through some things and had to learn about things and defending themselves and all this stuff because they were involved with, uh, it, this could be the twin flame thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you believe in that. You know, I mean, we run into all kinds of soulmates, I believe. So, but this could be somebody that they believed or they thought, but, and they tried to stay with it and did whatever, did whatever, but it turned out that. I, I think that's what the illusion was. This was not your person, you know, but you had to go through this. And this person may have hurt you and done all kind of bad things. But 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 you know what, though, you should be 100 percent grateful to that person because they got you through this right here. Like you kind of moved, you know, and took care of yourself. You breached a higher level of commitment on your own, possibly your faith. You know what I mean? You're single and abundant and, you know. So if anything, you shouldn't have any resentment or, or hate or upset towards this person. This person is a person from the past. She's looking back, so she's from the past. Um, you should just be grateful to that person, no matter how bad they hurt you, because they got you to be a better person. If you want, you know, you know what I mean? Even though they might have done terrible things to you, you came out the bigger person. You came out the better person. So you should appreciate them for that. You know, you don't have to go and forgive them and say it's okay and they can be your best friend. No, no, no. Just for your own inner sanity. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it and think about the person that you've grown into, who do you have to thank for that? All those people who wronged you, all those people who hurt you because they got you to see your own self-worth. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> that was not that like flowed out you know what i mean it was you know at the bottom of the deck yeah look i think right here um we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck 50 percent of the people there was love and love was shared but 50 percent love was really not there it was an illusion also 
right? So this could have been like one of them, uh, those narcissistic relationships or whatever, and somebody may have released themselves after getting backstabbed and all these things. This person could have stolen from them. They could have been had to go to court for this person. Maybe this letter, this message is a restraining order. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? It could be anything like that. <laughs> when I look at this, yeah, this message, it could be a restraining order, <laughs> really, to stay away. You know, I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny, but it's like, it's like, it's bringing back memories of myself. I am telling you, it's, and that's why I laugh at some of these things, because it's like, I'm giving you these messages and examples because I'm giving you examples from my own life. <laughs> that's how I'm able to give them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it could be like that, you know? So let's get these up. Let's keep moving. Okay. I feel like somebody was, was just fake, fake love, you know, trying to be like, I love you and love bombing and all that stuff. And they were faking it. They were using you or trying to take advantage of somebody, trying to steal something from someone. You know, that's what it was. So this is the obstacle and the advice. And I think this is the obstacle. It may be an, and maybe it's the obstacle and advice. Oh no, I don't know. Maybe it's the obstacle because you know what? The obstacle is um, reminiscing about a someone from the past, the lovers, right? That's what this card is, really, the Six of Cups. Um, this is about reminiscing about somebody from the past who you love, right? Or that you had loving feelings for or something like that. Now, this is a creepy-ass picture. I don't like this picture. Not at all. This looks like a grown adult, and this looks like a little young girl. To me, that seems very scary and upsetting. I don't like that, personally. To me, it seems like um, pedophilia. So I don't appreciate this now that I'm looking at it. I never noticed it before, but now I am. So I don't appreciate this picture, but that's what I'm seeing here. So somebody could be remembering something from the past or trauma from the past or... Somebody is, this is the obstacle. Somebody's having a problem getting over some trauma from the past. This is the obstacle. That's why it could also be the advice. And the advice would be to be, you need to get over that trauma from the past. Right? And I know it's difficult. And I know we've all been through all kinds of different traumas ourselves, but it's possible. You have to want to heal. You have to want to heal to move forward. If you keep complaining and being sad about how your life has been and how everything has been unfair, all you're doing is manifesting that stuff back into your life. But if you're like, all right, that shit happened. I'm over it. I'm a new, per I'm different. You know, I can do, I can make changes in my life. I love myself. I'm, I'm enough. I'm worth it. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm intelligent, um, I'm friendly, I'm loving. If you are all those things, then yeah, just keep moving it forward, you know? Don't think about, oh, have bad luck, this is why it happens. No. That's just how the cycle of life is going, you know? Um... Yeah. So, you know, let's go. Oh, let me shuffle this one time. And then we have the Ace of Wands right here. We're going to find out what this Ace of Wands is. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is about losing that passion. Like, the passion is gone. When the love is gone, you know, it's gone, you know. No more passions. This is what we got here for this Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Joker, which is the Fool, card of Aries. We have Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. And then we have the Seven of, of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So somebody definitely has lost all passion for a person, place, or thing, or situation uh, because there was deception there. 
and um, somebody does not want to deal with these burdens anymore. This could be um, an Aries, right? But somebody does not want to take a leap of faith and have any type of any equal give and take with somebody because they feel like it will be burdensome. They also feel like there could be some deception here. So like I said before, somebody may not want to do something with someone because of like thievery or paperwork or somebody altered something or somebody was deceptive on some paperwork or some, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, you see the judge, he's like looking at some couple of court documents right here and he's looking at the woman or... I don't know, but somebody here has been doing something deceptive because they wanted some sort of equal give and take. They took a leap of faith and they did it because they don't want to have to deal with any uh, burdens, but there was deception here. So I don't know, you guys, I just put out a reading. Karma is real. People are out here just doing the most. Nobody can just be honest and good and just, you know, I mean, people can be. I can't say nobody, sorry, okay? But people are just doing the most out here, you know? And it's so shocking because sometimes you find out it's like the people closest to you, and that's so terrible, you know? And anyways, this is the Shocker Wisdom Oracle. So I'm going to go ahead and see what comes out for this. I'm just going to go through it like once and see, you know? Somebody is waiting for their ships to come in after this deception. Oh my God, I just got a thought, you guys. Somebody who was involved in this thievery may not get caught or something, and they're waiting for somebody to come back so they can be like, oh, I'll help you, but they're the ones that caused it. They want to appear to be like the one who is the superhero to save the day, but they are the ones who did it in the first place. So think about that. Okay. I don't know. That popped into my head, you guys. So starting out here, isolation. Yes, exactly. You see how these cards work? That's nuts. So yeah, somebody is not dealing with anybody. They're not doing anything. They're not hanging out. They're, they're doing their own thing. They're working on their own life. You know, they're doing what they need to do to get their life together. Um, expansion. And look, you see also here, because of all these things that are going on, things are coming to light. And this person is having maybe a spiritual expansion, a spiritual enlightenment. You see these ghosts in the back. This could be, I guess, relatives or passed on loved one or something. I don't know. Something like that, right? That's what the picture I think is. But somebody is in, during this time of isolation and higher levels of commitment, you know, committing to oneself during these trying times somebody is being expanded. Somebody is becoming more enlightened to something or whatever, right? And then we have impasse, right? But this impasse is not for this person. The impasse is for, for the person in the past, right? I, I feel like someone is unable to pass, you know? No one will allow anybody to deal with this person from the past. I kind of feel like Somebody from the past is trying to come in and this guy here is like, nope, you can't come. You cannot go this way. I'm here to guard the entrance of this person's peace. So yeah, I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. This person is the guardian of this person's peace. Despondence. And then finally in the end, they finally give up. Good. You should have gave up a long time ago. But I still feel like there's going to be some sort of, you know, there is going to be some sort of issue here. You know? Somebody's going to see that they are un absolutely unable to do anything to this person from the past. It's just, it's just going to be impossible. You just, no. You know, that's it. 
And so, you know, and I kind of feel like because this person fought for their position, it just didn't land in their lap. It, it, they fought for it. You know, they fought for this piece. You know, this could be you or somebody you know. You know, I don't know who is who here. So you have to pick who you are. You could even be this bad person trying to come in from the past to feed you more illusions. I don't know which person you are. So, you know, or you could, this might sound like a familiar story that you heard of from your parents or your friends or something, but that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.